I had often wondered what it would be like if this place closed forever. It would be still, quiet, peaceful, but it would be hollow, like a body without a soul. People didn't just come here to play a sport. They came to fight, to fight their stress, their anxieties, their depression, their loneliness, to make friends and unforgettable memories. They came because of people. Our community will miss the beautiful transformation of the woods this year. And our community will miss each other. People traveled from all over the country and claimed this was the best field they ever played at, but they were wrong and didn't know it. They were talking about the people they were playing with. And I wanted to show you how beautiful it was now. And although I respect its beauty, it feels like what's the point if there's no one to share it with? This place is home to so many. This place holds countless memories. I wish dearly that this crisis was one that could rather allow people to have this escape. Where people join together with one like-mindedness to suspend reality, to be a kid again, to use their imagination, to challenge themselves, to let go and to come together. I feel the countless memories suspended on every trail, every angle, every tree, every structure, and every vehicle. I mean, this is so much more than a business, but the situation happening is about lives before livelihood. And I don't know how long we will be closed. I cannot give an answer. And people will need this escape more than ever after. And so I promise you that we will be here when the storm passes. And we will be together again. I thank every single person who built this place up from nothing and I thank every company out there who helped us serve our community. I'm so thankful for what we have had and what I believe we will have in the future. Whatever happens to businesses, we will have this place and we can restart. 